Yeah, I'll probably update you on this, <laughs> this beer cooler, which is kind of evolving here. I was filling my, I've got a 65 gallon water tank in the back of the M37. And there's a 50 gallon water tank sitting on the ground. I filled that, the water tank on the ground, the idea is there for the horses. You know, I can pump water into that. They don't have to come home to drink. It can be right out here in the pasture. It'll keep them from bugging me in the yard. You know, so that should work fine. And the one on the M37, I was gonna wash clothes today. So I thought, well, okay, I'll try this water. I've got a little pump set up there that I use uh, for miscellaneous pumping water. Just use regular garden hoses, but it takes a very short period of time to fill that, that 65 gallon tank. You know, you run a minute or two, you know, it fills up. And I still got a lot of work to do on this, this road, you know, because that's a lot of clay and sand and it was pretty soggy when I brought it up here and I've added more onto it. So I got to pack that down yet, let it dry out some. But I actually might come down and do a little more digging. Okay, this is the, the hole. And uh, it's about well, roughly three feet below ground level now, the water level. But that hole is over six feet deep. So I got at least three feet of water. And it seems like no matter how fast, you know, I can pump and pump and the water table doesn't drop. So it's feeding it in as fast as I'm pumping it out. You know, so I can make use of this. This is a good uh, water source here. But I'm debating about, you know, because I could easily build a spring house sort of arrangement over the top of this for keeping things cool. You know, you could, the only problem I have, you know, like I say, this is three feet down from ground level, but my culvert here that handles the overflow. You know, you're looking at two feet to water level. So that water can fluctuate up that high. Like if we get a heavy rain or something, all of a sudden, oh, you know, uh, if I have a cooler in there or a metal box, I'm always going to have to design it so that it can float to change with the water level. But the water seems to be coming in from there over to there. This area, this is all willows and stuff back in here. But you can kind of see holes actually where the water comes in. This is fairly solid ground here. Side, which is good because the road is right here. But that feeding the water all the time so there's movement in the sand. So I, I debate about how to handle this. Like I say, I could, I could actually frame the whole thing in with wood, you know, pine tarred wood, work fine. Uh, I do have one concern. I don't want to get too elaborate on it, but I do have a concern at the moment right now you could have animals fall in here and not be able to get out again. I've had that happen with a calf one time in a, a similar kind of situation. And it was really cold, so the calf ended up wearing a sheepskin coat for a while, just to keep from freezing, which freaked the rest of the animals out completely. But, you know, I could fence it. You know, my main concern would be little deer, or even a raccoon, although a raccoon can scramble out of here, I think. But, yeah, you know, you don't really want to get animals in here. So, like I said, I can frame it, I can fence it, I can build a house over the top with a floating cooler, you know, there's 
a lot of options here. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to take the backhoe and, and dig a ramp kind of thing and put some like half logs on there so you got something to walk on so that you can come up and down the thing to get down to the water table, the level. But there's a lot of uses I can make of this. It's good to have a, another water source. Uh, really good water too comes out of here. It's just nice and clean. But I'm also thinking my garden isn't much over 100 yards that way from here. You know, my bigger garden. I could easily run an irrigation pump. The only thing the water comes out of here is relatively cold, which you really don't want to put on plants in the hot sun. You hit them with cold water, it's not good for them. So I have to pump the water from here into, I've got this big storage tank, let it warm up, then I can run it out of the garden. So we've got a lot of options here. But I think the first thing, you know, today I'm going to come down to the back hole, dig a little slanting approach in here, and like I say, put like half logs in it, that way I can I can get down through the water, and if something should fall in, they can get out. But there's a lot of potential in this. But I'm going to have to make up a skimmer to get the leaves off, or they'll pluck the pump up, because there's, you know, there's garbage from when I was digging in here. But there's a good root system of all these little shrubs in here to hold the ground from moving. And like I say, this is where it comes out of the ground. So there's no contamination getting into it. It isn't ground water. I mean, it, you know, it isn't surface water. It's ground water, but this is where it comes up. Like I say, as quick as I pump it out, it seems to refill. So I do have a, <clears throat> a little problem with the caving over there because that is where the water is coming in. You know, I can see that sand there is letting the water in that whole area. This is fairly solid, but there it's tending to cave. And then, of course, the sand runs back down in there. And it'll just keep getting bigger. So I might have to, like if I cut a ramp here and then try to shore that up a little, it might work. Well, it'll work to a certain extent. Well, let's see. Let's put the thermometer in there and I want to see what temperature I'm actually getting. make something so they don't have something falling in there and getting stuck. And I'll clean a little more of that slop out of there. But that's at least three feet of water and it doesn't seem to go down. No matter how much I pump. So I think I got a pretty good and at this time of year uh, like my stock pond is at its lowest point. You know, the water table has dropped, so if I can get three feet of water with a low water table, you know, if it raises two more feet, then I'll run over. You know, take the culvert and go across the road. So, yeah, I think this has got a great deal of potential.